Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. This time, it's a little bit different, because I've never really done anything. Well, I say I've never done anything like this. I've always given you my thoughts, but I'm kind of intending on giving you my thoughts, if that makes sense. Uh, but basically, we're going to do a quest first, and we're also going to get our weapon. I'm standing up here because it was just, a, as you can see, there's a massive, like, horde down there of people running through doing the event. And some people didn't think, if you want an update on my event video, there it is. These are the weapons I have so far, and these are the me these. This is the sheer amount of fucking fates I've done. I will show you guys all the weapons. I've not really looked at them myself. I've looked at some of them, but I will show you guys all of them in the video when we when I get them all. Uh, so let's let's find out how we get this weapon first. So apparently, once you get plus thirty, plus thirty. Not apparently. Once you get plus 30, plus 30, so we're at the Palace of Death, so we get a thing. So we've got plus 30, plus 30 on both our gear and our weapon. So now we can receive a weapon, as far as I know. Now, I don't know who we have to talk to. Probably one of these dudes, because uh, that guy obviously didn't have an option for it. What do you have? Green friend, I'm from Gridania, blah, blah, blah. I've noticed this beginning exploration service, the uh, Labyrinth of uh, Harm. Exchange request to keep your Aetherpool gear. There we go. Okay, so we're not doing it as ninja because I've got I've got these weapons as ninja. Uh, I'm happy with these weapons as ninja. Uh, my new class, uh, up and coming class, is um, machinist. I actually really like a machinist. So uh, we're gonna get the machinist weapon. Yes, this machine machinist weapon will be slightly higher than the ninja weapon. I know this. Don't worry. I'm fully aware of that. Request to keep your Aetherpool gear. Hmm, if you wish to keep your Aetherpool gear outside the Palace of the Dead, hmm, it's clear that it's challenged enough an amount of ether into it, so after the position of ruins, blah, 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 perhaps the engineers can stabilize it, plus there's no we needing it. Only Aetherpool weapons and shields can be converted to be outside of the Palace of the Dead. First select. Oh, okay, so you, we need, yes, yes, you need to be on the job. You need to be on the job. If you want so if you're a ninja, and you want your ninja weapon, you have to be on your ninja. You can't talk to him as a dark knight, because he'll give you a sword. Okay? So obtain a for, for machinist. Yes. This is done. We have received a cheve as well, which is very nice. Fantastic. So let's have a look at it. Here it is. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Stat-wise, it's not bad. I am comparison, obviously it's miles better than our level 45 weapon, that actually needs up upgrading. So that's actually not bad, it's pretty decent. So we see what it's like against the ninja ninja weapons. Let's have a look, um, I'm on the wrong thing. Here we go, ninja weapons, let us compare this, and comparison. So there you go, they're both dexterity weapons, determinations, crit rate. Crit rate, actually, I would prefer actually more crit than determination. Uh, I guess I could put crit materia in there because it has got two materia slots. So, might pack it up a little bit. Uh, in fact, we have got a bunch of, we've got four of these, which is also to buy in here. We could, in fact, legit just straight up buy crit, crit, you know? By an extra, by an extra 24 crit, if it will allow, if the weapon will allow it. But I do want the mount, so I'm probably gonna save it for the mount for now. Uh, right, and we suppose we should have a look at it as well, shouldn't we? So let's have a little look at it as well. Let's actually have a little look. Which I mean, I've obviously seen it because I've been in the Palace of the Dead with a machinist. But whether or not you guys want to see it or have seen it, um, where the fuck am I going? Try on. Here we go. It looks fucking awful, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks really, really shit. You're gonna want to glamour this, probably, because you don't want that. That it just looks it's straight up untextured, <laughs> you know. It's straight up untextured, but hey, whatever. It's a pretty decent weapon. So, hello, a nightmare's end, or the nightmare's end, even. I say, Andrew Dementia, who's been exploring past the dead? Strife, isn't it? Yes, that's right, that's me. You stirred quite a stir among the men. Indeed, everyone in the shroud speaks of your daring some more favorably than others. There's a Lalafell who comes to the dues. Okay, yeah, we, yeah, we know. 
Lalafell. We we know we already know who that is. We usually pay no mind, drunkards at Tavern, but Frank, he's become something of a nuisance. Perhaps you could speak with him. Hey Warrior of Light, I know you've just got out of this dungeon that was pretty harrowing as far as I as far as I'm aware. Perhaps you could go talk to a drunk dude for me. Is is that alright? I mean is that a worthy use of your time, Warrior of Light? Um, sure. Yeah, why not? I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I know who we're going to see, though. We're going to go see the Lalafell, who, of course, is with Edna. Because uh, in this, in the Deep Dungeons, uh, you actually kill off Edna at the floor 50. Um, it actually comes up, Edna slain, which is oddly uh, specific, quite frankly. But um, Edna's a very interesting character, because she's been with us all the way since Natasha. Like, the very first dungeon in Satasha that you see, there's a little group of adventurers outside. And if you talk to them, the tank's just being an asshole to the white mage. And the white mage is Edna, you know? And it's meant to kind of be like a moral thing, I believe. Like, you know, just don't be don't be dicks. But uh, the, the white mage ends up... Ed, white mage Edna ends up killing the tank. And not through purpose, just through her, like, not very good healing. She's not good enough to heal him, and he dies. He rushes off ahead and dies, and basically, he's useless. So she actually takes his head and has his head on her for ages. Like, there's a cutscene later on in the game where you're like, why are you still... Where one of the uh, Gadanian uh, guardsmen are like, why are you carrying that fucking head around? Stop, stop it. That's fucking weird. It's not okay. Put it, put, fucking put it down. And she's like, no, no, you know. And she, she loves this tank. Basically, she's like got a crush on this tank, and she wanted to marry this tank. And then later, there's a quest called the corpse, uh, the corpse groom or the groom's corpse. And basically, it's this guy here who has been invited to the wedding of Edna and this deceased tank, this dead tank. And you go in, you go there, and you have to go fight through Tamtara Deepcroft hard. You have to fight all the way through that dungeon to get to the end, kill her, and kill the head. She falls from the cliff. We assume she's dead, but in the cutscene afterwards, she appears behind Pio, Pio Rio, and well, basically, she's haunted us ever since. And that goes from level 15 when you first encounter her to level 20 when you see her in that cutscene or 20-ish. And then and then level 50. And now again, at the end of the Dragon Song War in Heaven's Ward, we see her again in Deep Dungeon, in the Palace of the Dead. And lo and behold, here is a drunkard Lalafell, Mr. Pyo Ryu. I'll keep another bottle. The strong stuff this time. How does a man drown his troubles? Is hic oh hiccup? I can't really do hiccups. Uh, the dry is hic oh, I can't do it. I can't force a hiccup. Sorry guys. Too bad piss you call ale. I said. Huh? Hey, what's up, buddy? Strive. The god wins. So we like to zoom in, try and make it look cinematic. We can't really make it cinematic, can we? The god's world deliver you to me. A third time, if anyone could help me, surely it's you. Other than our ordeal, the Tam Terra Deepcroft, I tried to return home, but no use. Try I might, I cannot stop thinking about her, about Edna. You saw her? When? Where? Uh, in the deep past of the dead, I may have killed her. This is her engagement ring. I don't recognize the design anywhere. She would keep. She would always keep this on her. What? What? Her engagement ring. But the tank never like got engaged to her. The tank was like the tank hated her. Would fear that it would get dirty on her out on the outings. Strange that you would find it back in a place like this. I realize this is sudden, but would you accompany me to the bridge just outside? I'd like you to see if you can help me with something. Sure, buddy. But he'll pow. Uh, this bridge? Yes, this bridge. I suppose I could have looked on my map. Hello.
You require the adventurer's help, do you? What is thy problem? Thank you for coming. I thought my heart would burst on my chest when I laid eyes on the ring. Would that I could forget the horrors of the damnable crypt. Seems the best I can do is drown them in ale. Perhaps this is punishment for the way we treated her. Every night when I close my eyes, I can still see Edna with a ghastly grin and a bo a whoa, a bo abomination she dread. It's a bit harsh. Call it abomination. I mean, it was a giant head with wings that tried to eat me. That was exactly what it was. But abomination. Jeez. The dream is always a bit sh is always the same. We wish to return home. They tell me I fear if I don't grant this request, they will hunt me till my dying day. First thought, I hold a small resemblance of service of shorts to honour them. I ask myself, what good would it do without the bodies, even a keepsake? Then I remembered their, their engagement rings. A symbol of their... It, what, what engagement rings? I don't remember that. They, I thought they hated I, well I thought like the white mage loved him but he was like fuck fuck you bitch you're only as good as what money you got cause you're rich I thought like what the fuck of course that would have meant returning to that awful place to seek out the ring from her from her cheddar I cursed myself for running away last time we met if I had stayed with you at my side Perhaps I could have found the courage to try. Yet fate conspired to bring me here. And with Edna's ring, now we need only to find a vase to continue the set. Okay. Where'd you bury the dude? Now I know what you're thinking, and no, I will not ask you to accompany me back to Tankara Deepcroft. Thankfully, that won't be necessary. You see, the night before our fateful folly into the Deepcroft, Vi and I went to the Devers to perhaps one too many drinks and stumbled outside in the drunken stupor. And it was there we fell into the river. We thought it hysterical that until we realized not only was his gauntlets missing, but his ring as well. <gasps> I'm shocked. See? See the emote? It means I'm shocked. There was no use searching in the forest in the dark. We decided to return at first light, but alas, we never found it. Edna could never know. Now I would make things right. What? I don't. Did they get. Did they like actually get engaged? I didn't. <laughs> completely didn't know that. Come, I very much doubt these shallow waters would carry his gauntlets far. Right, so there's no use searching in the dark, so you want to search in the dark? Alright. And I mean, dude, you realize that was like fucking ages ago, right? Like, I mean, there's obviously there's something right there, and it's probably the ring, but... Like, yeah, rusted gauntlets, but... I mean, what are the odds of no one else finding them? You find a pair of old rusted gauntlets. I mean, we've been through all of Heaven's Ward. We've participated in a war, been accused of criminal. We've, like, year, like, years have passed since I was, like, level 15, you know? Yes, you found his gauntlets, truly. Oh, the ring, please tell me it's inside. Yeah, here you go, buddy. Yes, yes, this is it. Now all the remains to find the place where we met. Might lay their rings and hopefully their spirits to rest. Okay, where do you want to bury them? Perhaps Limsa Liminza. It was after all wh where we all met. It could be better, a more beautiful view than my own city. Where the love first blossomed. Okay, think of no better place than Summerford. Meet me near the top of the sky lift. I know a nice spot with a beautiful view of Limsa. Sweet, let's go look at Disneyland. Uh, summer felt right. Um, here we go. Middle Lanosa. Let's 
So he's hoping that burying these rings will be. So I guess they got engaged at some point. I guess I missed that cutscene or just wasn't paying attention or f probably forgot, like I said. This, like, Edna has haunted us, or Edna has haunted us for literally years. You know? Like, it's come back bit by bit by bit by bit. That, so it's literally been years of content worth of her just coming back every now and again to tell us that she's still there, that she's still haunting us. You know, so it's it's a well laid out story, to be fair. I mean, I'm actually quite happy that they did something a bit more darker and like a bit more of a horror aspect. I'm not a fan of a, I'm not a fan of horror by any means, but I did like this because it was a uh, it was just out of place, you know, which made it truly scary. If that makes sense. Because you don't like see MMOs with like scariness, right? So it's actually quite interesting that you would get something like that. And when things are out of place like that, it really is scary. It's like the very first time in Persona. When you play Persona, everything's normal and everything's great, and then it gets scary, and it's like then at that point it's really scary because the setting is not what you're used to. Ah, would you look at that? It brings back such fond memories. Now let us offer up our prayers to the dearly departed. Yeah, you gonna bury him? You gonna put like a little gravestone? No? We're just gonna give it a good old pray. Alright, that's fine. Even in death, they suffered together. Down there in the dark. Avea, Edna. I pray you sleep and finally know true peace. And with that, I believe we're finished here. Already I can feel a great weight has been lifted from my mind. Perhaps I may have enjoy a good night's rest. Words cannot express my gratitude, Strife. You've been... You've seen me through much, and have shown me, well, not that much. <laughs> what it means to be an adventurer. Our party lacked unity and paid dearly for it. No one should suffer as they did. I will now do what I can to see others world would be heroes, not succumb to the same fate. Yeah, you go walk, work at the Hall of Novices or something, teaching. Suggest you take a crash course first. Bye. Thank you. Disembodied voice. <gasps> ah, it's Edna. No? Just a ghostly voice saying thank you. The nightmare's end. Ham Limbs looks great. I love Ham Limbs. It's so good. I love how all the city states are actually. They're, re they're really done really well. Although, you can't really see Gridania though outside of the. outside of Gridania. Because it's all fucking trees, right? So, I guess Gridania is probably the worst one for that. You can't really see it. Like this, you can see. Uldar, you can see. Ishgard, you can see. So. Oh, fucking. Look, they've even got like, little like, supply things. It's great. Fucking love it. Okay, well, I guess here's a good enough place for me just to sit down and fucking chat with you guys. So we actually, like, sit. So we sit. There you go. Four slash sit. Look at that. Now I should probably hide that, because I don't like that being up. Uh, so, yeah. Paths of the Dead. As a content in general. This this is what I've never done before. Just decided to tell you. I should probably have, like, visual cues or something, but I've not got anything. I've not got anything ready. Uh, it's interesting piece of content. It's... Any any level can join. Well, actually, I think you've got to be level seventeen. You got to beat Copper Bell Mines to um, be able to access it. But uh, it's certainly is interesting, and you have to do the corpses uh, quest, the corpse thing quest, to actually do this mission, the level fifty mission. Uh, basically, you go through ten floors at a time of randomly generated rooms, and. You go, you go in, and you start at level one, and then you level up all the way to sixty. For those who, for those who don't don't know. And what's interesting about this is because you can go in at level seventeen, 
at any class, right? So I can go in as a Dragoon, which I've not fully leveled yet, and see what it's like at 60. So if you're thinking of maining something, like if you want to see what tanks best, if you want to see what things best, do Pass of the Dead, because it allows you to see what it's like at 60 before getting there. You know, so if you don't want to waste, or if you don't want to put in the time and effort to get Paladin, you know, from 22, where you get Provoke, to like up to 60, just to see what it's like in a game where they realize you don't like it and want to swap tank, go in as a warrior, try it out. Go in as a paladin, try it out. Go in as a dark knight, try it out. If you like it, then you can stick with it. Like, I went in with Machinist. I think I really like Machinist. Machinist is really fucking fun. So, I'm going to level Machinist up to level 60. It's pretty damn good EXP below level 50. And, but after level 50, i got to be honest, it's not as great. That might just be the sheer increase of EXP needed. But it is a nice way of doing things. You can get a mount from it, you can get two minions, and you can get grade 5 materia. All that is absolutely fantastic, really, for BD ones. You can get lucky and receive a shard at any point. Uh, I think... I say at any point, actually. I think it might be the last 10 floors that you can receive things. And at the time of, at the time of recording, there's something if you leave, like if you finish it off, kill kill the final boss, and then instead of leaving, and you leave through your duty finder. So if you leave through duty finder, instead of actually going through the exit point, apparently you could redo those, ten, those last 10 floors. So that's worth noting. Uh, I don't know if it still works. Uh, maybe it's been hot patched or something like that, I don't know, but I know it's a thing that is available right now. The dude's fighting in the background. <laughs> Dark Knight. Uh, yeah, some points can be really frustrating. Uh, really frustrating. Like, you can, you can pull something and then three mobs can come up from behind. You know, you can get, if you're not paying full attention or you've got somebody who quickly pulls mobs... You can get like you can really get butt fucked, and then just have no way of reviving yourself, and then die and lose all those ten floors. Because if you die, you go back to the previous stage. So if you clear one to ten, you get there. You clear twenty to ten, you get there. So that's twenty to ten. Ten to twenty, sorry, you get there. You clear twenty to thirty, you get there. If you die on your way to floor forty, you go back to floor thirty and have to go through. The, floor 30, 31, 32, 33 again. And that also reverts all your levels, all your items, and all of your Aether Pool gear stats. So, that can be frustrating if you die, especially if you die because of something stupid. Like, you step on a trap, like, there are mines in there that could, like, literally take down, like, 75% HP. Early floors, you could, like, pull a Mimic from one of the chests, and because Mimics are quite high level, they can wreck you if you pull them on the first couple of floors. It's... It can be unforgiving, but at the same time, it can be really good. It can be really nice. If you're, if you're playing now, and you're at level 60, and you've got, you know, all the stuff, you will get lore from going through this, which is great. It's not a lot of lore, mind you, but it is lore. But if you have a friend just starting the game... If you're both online at the same time, he obviously can't play with you because you're much higher level. You'd have to go down to his level or help him through dungeons, which is great. But deep dungeon is something that you two can do together, and it will improve. It just it helps him because you see how he's playing. You can like give him tips if necessary. It also it just allows him to see what it's like at higher levels. So it's a great way for a new person to play with an old player. If you have like if you're recommending it to a friend. It's a great way to do that. I think that's fantastic. Uh, and there's and you get lore and you get like materia, so it is worth your time doing it at level sixty. Even if you're just gonna sell the materia, that's still like three hundred k. And if you're level seventeen, starting a brand new game, a new brand new character, you know, grade five materia can sell for about three hundred to four hundred thousand gil. Level 17 could use that money, you know? Because a lot of early gear is actually... Actually costs quite a bit. Because... Just because... People sell it. And people buy it. Because they're leveling up other... Other things. So... 
it's definitely a piece of content worth doing. It's well executed. Uh, my retainer is back. <laughs> uh, it's it's well executed. Uh, I definitely think we'll see. I definitely think it's worth seeing more. Like when the when the Dare the D- Dorium when the Dorium come out, we it was it was all right. It worked okay, but it was pretty boring. After like two runs, you were like, "Fuck this!" So I think the which they're doing a complete overhaul of now, which is great. But this feels like it worked. It feels like it worked. I feel I've done four runs so far, and I feel like it worked. My other retainer is back from her venture. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's worked, and I feel like it's. I feel it's a piece generally worth doing. It can, like I said, it can get frustrating. Make sure you've got potions or Phoenix Downs. It gives a use for Phoenix Downs. Holy shit, I think this is the first Phoenix Downs I've like used in like a real situation. Uh, I wish Phoenix Downs were stackable. Wish you could bring more than one Phoenix Down with you. Why you could only bring one, I don't know. Uh, you can't use it in combat, which is fine. But if you can't use it in combat. Why isn't it stackable? <laughs> you know? Like, there shouldn't be any problem with it if I can't use it in combat anyway. But, um, they're adding another 150 floors as well. At some point, I believe. They're adding another 150 floors. Uh, which are all, like, challenge mode. Which I'm sure will also be great to do. So, if you, like, looking to do it, definitely do it. I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, I've never done this sort of video before of, like, just giving you guys my thoughts. It was a lot quicker than what I expected. That quest was a lot quicker than I expected. But that's fine because now this video won't be like 40 minutes long. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the Deep Dungeon or Palace of the Dead in the comments below. And let's have a little conversation about it. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys think what could be improved about it, what you what you want to see Square Enix do. That's all interesting conversation that I really want to do. So if you guys want, want to tell me, I'm willing to listen. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.